Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and it's time today for my Friday Reads. This week I read three books, um, or completed three books, and then I'm part way through about four books. Um, it was a bit of a different reading week for me, it was a lot slower, um, I wasn't feeling reading a lot, it sort of went in fits and starts, I read, um, you know, big chunks of book and then I sort of didn't read for a bit uh, which is fine and I've still enjoyed the books that I read very much. Before I talk about those though I want to do my booktuber shout out of the week and this week I want to shout out a booktuber called Sarah Johnson. Her channel is of the same name Sarah Johnson. She is someone that's commented on my videos a few times and I just sort of clicked on her and realised that she had a channel as well and I really enjoy watching her videos. She's got similar taste in books to me. She's read a couple of books recently that have really intrigued me um, and wanted to find out more and I just really enjoy watching her she's also got a blog which I think is where she sort of started doing reviews of books um, so it's worth checking that out as well so I will link her down below and uh, you can go over and if you like what you see subscribe and uh, yeah so today it is Sarah Johnson who I'm shouting out <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about the books. So the first two books I want to talk about that I completed are going to be a little bit difficult to say too much about because they were Cress and Winter by Marissa Meyer, which is the third and fourth books in the Lunar Chronicles. The first two books are Cinder and Scarlet and I read those last year and then I picked up Cress on my Kindle and read that and then I moved straight on to Winter because I was enjoying it so much. Um, Cress I ended up giving about 4.5 stars and Winter I was so close to 5 stars but I think 4.75 stars there was just something that didn't push it over the edge for me but this is a really really solid 4 slash 5 star series I really really enjoyed it I'll tell you a bit about the series as a whole um, obviously because I don't want to spoil anything but basically we're in each of the books we're following um, a main protagonist but there is an overarching story arc so in Cinder we start out finding more about Cinder and who is our Cinderella character in this story she is a cyborg and we are following her meeting the prince there's a plague that's going around killing people and they're trying to discover a cure for it and there is another planet called Luna which is the moon um, which has its own queen and its own group of um, citizens and uh, there is sort of talks between the two and some war aspects so basically in the first one we follow Cinder and her story then we move on in Scarlet to also follow Cinder and her story which continues through but we pick up um, Scarlet who is our Red Riding Hood character and the big bad wolf we then continue those arcs into Cress and in Cress we're looking at Rapunzel and her prince but also this continuing story um, picks them up so to speak and they join the story and then in winter which is like the epic I think it was over 800 page finale uh, we pick up Snow White and her prince and the story comes to an end and it was just brilliant um, Marissa Meyer really has a inventive mind she has changed the um, the original I and mean, the stories are totally different to the original fairy tale however um, she's really picked on some of the parts of the characters of each of these fairy tale princesses and I think she's really captured um, some of their essence and some of their sort of main story points I just really enjoyed this series um, I can't praise it highly enough I definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't already and you like the sound of it and it's just such a fun easy read and I really enjoyed it I mean I whizzed through this which is 800 pages in just over a day I just couldn't put it down so uh, yeah I really enjoyed reading those two this week and then the third book that I completed this week was a buddy read with the lovely Joss at Scribbles Reads and she really made this book um, a worthwhile reading experience for me she is such a great buddy reader she's really intelligent she really um, talks um, and sort of discusses with you the themes and I really loved that and we read Black Iris by Leah Rader um, when I finished this I just thought what it just felt a bit messed up for me and I wasn't sure how I felt about it where I whether I loved it or hated it and 
I, I really felt it helped to talk to Joss afterwards and discuss some of the themes. Um, there is a lot of themes of mental health in here and mental illness and things that I don't really have any experience of in personal life and I don't have a background um, knowledge of many of um, the different sort of mental illnesses. And so it was really interesting. Joss is, uh, I believe, doing that for her career. She's learning and training. Um, and so she had a lot better to knowledge and understanding of uh, some of these illnesses that were discussed in the book there's personality disorder um and there is borderline um and there was a couple of others oh manic depression was discussed and so it was really interesting for me getting that insider knowledge on whether it had realistically been portrayed in the book because for me it just felt really over the top and it felt like it was really um, out there and um, I just felt a little bit confused as to whether this is sort of a situation, situations that would actually happen. And there is one particular thing in the sort of reveal in this book that I really struggled to not laugh out loud at. It was just such an irritating trope. And so um, for that reason, I really struggled with my rating as well. Let me tell you a little bit about the book. Our main protagonist, Lainey, um, is a is a little bit of um well she's a drug addict she um is a bit of a bad girl she's very promiscuous with herself and very confused in her sexuality and she witnesses something um and something happens in her life and she's looking for revenge and this is kind of a revenge story and we flit back and forth in the narrative um to um to two different years I found that very confusing. We didn't just flip sort of last year, this year, last year, this year. It was specific months and it wasn't chronological. And I really found that got quite confusing at points. And I really struggled with that part. And it was because of the flitting back and forth. And also this one thing that happened. And the fact that it did feel a little bit um, over the top. That although I enjoyed it, I, I couldn't give it more than three stars. I think an interesting point that Joss pointed out to me, which I didn't know before, is that Leah Rader is um, transgender and now, now identifies as a male. Um, and I believe his name is Elliot, um, which I found very interesting and also an interesting insight into possibly some of the things that have happened. And uh, Joss recommended that the we read the acknowledgements at the back. Um, because he discusses that um, he's had problems with his sexuality his whole life and um, it does talk about things that have happened in his life which have led him to writing this book which I think is really interesting as well. It's a really interesting look into um, mental illness and, um, and it's a really good sort of mystery thriller but it just, it just didn't hit the mark totally for me. And so although I really enjoyed the buddy read and it was really great to read with Joss and she's really interesting at pulling out different points, I found that great. Um, I couldn't give it more than three stars, like I say. So that's the books that I've completed this week. I'm just going to quickly show you the books that I'm partway through. Firstly, I am still continuing on with Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray. I'm doing my 50 pages a day with the lovely Ange from the Beyond the Pages and Alicia from Ex Libris. Um, I think we're all on the same page here where we're struggling a little bit with this one. It goes through bits where um, it's very interesting and then it goes through these sort of brain dumps of really boring um, social commentary and um, I'm really struggling with this one I have to say and if I wasn't reading it with the girls I would have DNF'd it by now. So um, we should be finishing this one in the next week but don't expect more than probably a two or three yeah, probably a two stars for me unless this really picks up. The next book that I'm part way through is The Portable Shelter by Kirsty Logan. This is a book and a set of short stories. Um, I'm reading this with Caitlin from Kitty G, which I'm pleased about because it is another book which is currently disappointing me. And I hate to say that because I really enjoyed The Grace Keepers and everybody loves this. Um, but at the moment, uh, both me and Caitlin are finding that it's possibly not to our taste, but I will wrap this up properly next week. The third book that I am partway through is The Marshmallow Test by Walter Michelle. Um, I'm reading this in sort of um, chapters, uh, maybe a chapter a day. It's really interesting so far, but I'm not too far into it. Um, but it talks about this sort of iconic marshmallow test where um, scientists and researchers sat uh, preschoolers down 
with a marshmallow and then two marshmallows on the other side and they told them that um, they could have the marshmallow now or they could wait and if they waited until the um, the moderator came back in on their own then they could have the two marshmallows and it's just looking at willpower and how to uh, master it and how to control yourself in certain situations and sort of the results of these um, experiments and yeah I'm really interested to find out more about this and see if it helps me in any way in my life and then the final book that I'm nearly very very nearly finished is 12 Kings by Bradley Bolio I'm reading this uh, with Vanessa Boutino of Channel of the Same Name and also a couple of the other booktubers are going to be um, joining in the discussion later on when they get started um, this book is really good so far it's a fantastic story about a girl who um, is whose mother was an assassin and it's set in a really interesting fantasy world we flip back between um, sort of several years earlier when uh, Shader who is our main character was younger and then to sort of present day it's set in a world where there is 12 kings who rule over this um, land which is in sort of a, a desert type um, a desert type area um i really love that there's these sort of ships that sail through the sand dunes and um yeah it's really good i really enjoying how we're sort of uncovering the mystery along with chader which is good um but i will tell you more in my wrap up next week but i'm really enjoying this i've only got um 50 odd pages left so i will have finished this probably by the time you see this video so i will definitely wrap it up for you next week so that's the books I read this week, the books that I'm currently reading and are going to finish in the next week. What are you reading? Have you read any of these? What were your thoughts on them? Um, I look forward to chatting to you in the comments and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now, booktube.